Uh, wh where am I? What am I doing here? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> oh, what the heck, dude? I'm already drenched. I washed up on shore, remember? I know. You just looked a little dehydrated. Why do you think I look dehydrated? Because of your skin? Look how blue and dark you look. I can't even see your face, my guy. Do you think I... my... uh... <laughs> this is my skin. I'm not dehydrated at all, see? Oh, well, <laughs> then I did it because it was fun. <laughs> what brings you around these parts, stranger? I don't know. I have no idea where I am or how I got here. I don't know how you got here either, but I can tell you where you are. You're in the Great Noob Nation, and my name is Billy Boy the Noob Jr., but you can call me Billy. Noob Nation? What is this place? I already told you it's- I know. You already told me. I'm just confused, that's all. I don't know who I am or why I'm here. Ah, I see. That's something called the main character syndrome. I, I mean, I can take you to someone who might know. He's super smart. You do that for me? Sure. I'm a noob. I got nowhere better to be. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Follow me. This noob showed me Noob Town, the place where he lived. The noobs had a whole society all to themselves. This was so weird to me for some reason. Noobs just doing noob things. You had the dirt huts and the obsession over wooden tools for some reason, and there were even digging competitions. Not normal digging, but digging straight down. And the funny part about that was, when the competition is over, the noobs who are at bedrock can't even get back up. The noob brought me to their mayor, and obviously he was a noob too. Whoa. What happened to you? Did you fall in new pole again? What? No. Oh, well you look so different. Get this man some water. He looks dehydrated. <laughs> what is happening? I'm not dehydrated. Why does everybody keep doing that? <laughs> Dude. Hey! Look, I don't know who I am or where I came from. That noob told me that you were really smart and might have an answer. I have no idea who you are or where you came from, but I want to ask you a question. Whew. Get ready. This is a tough one to ask. Okay, go ahead. Do you have any dirt on you? What? Dirt! Dirt, man! I need more dirt! I can't live without it! I must have more dirt! Well, this was not what I was expecting when he said he was super smart. I guess that's what I get for thinking any new would actually be smart. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Uh, this was a waste of time. Before you leave, let me tell you. I'm not really a real mayor. Dude, I kinda just sit here all day waiting for noobs to clock in and give me dirt. It's actually a really fulfilling job. But anyways, I don't know what you are, but I do know somebody who does. He's super smart. Ugh, okay, whatever. If I'm gonna have any chance of finding out who I am, I need to at least hear him out. Who is it? He is the governor over this land. His name is Noobit, and you will find him in Noob City. Just follow the path and you should get there. So apparently the Noob governor might know who I am and how I got here. If he does, then maybe I can figure out how to live my life. I started traveling towards Noob City, and luckily the noobs made this path super easy to follow. It's literally just a straight line. <laughs> This is all so weird to me. I've never seen a nation full of noobs before. They have cities and governors, and of course they use dirt for everything. I followed the path and came up over the hill, and that's where I saw it. Noob City. Whoa. <laughs> this was a lot bigger than I thought it was. I was not expecting this at all. Dang. I continued into the city, which was completely full of dirt houses and dirt lawns, even the streets were dirt. All the noobs were staring at me, and I understand why. I kinda stand out like a sore thumb compared to them. I mean, just look at me. I walked through the city with a group of noobs following me. It was kinda creepy. Yeah, well, what's up? And I did that until I came across a huge dirt wall with noob guards standing next to it. State your business here. Look, I don't know who I am, and I was told that the noob governor was the only one who could help me. I need to see him. No one sees the noob governor without an invitation. Uh, invitation? I don't have an invitation. Then you can't see the governor. You, you didn't let me finish. 
See, I don't have an invitation, but I do have tons of dirt. Dirt? Yeah. I mean, look at all the news behind me. They're carrying tons of dirt, and all of it is a gift for the governor. And some of it can be for you if you catch my drift. Are you trying to bribe a noob guard? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> but if you're okay with it, here, take some. Your story checks out. Go on through. I can't believe that worked. Noobs really are dumb, aren't they? You just let me inside with such a stupid story. Okay, now I can speak to the governor. I walked down the hallway until I got to the noob governor's chamber, where I saw him, sitting at his desk. Oh, what have we here? A visitor. I never sent any invitations out. Explain why you're here or suffer the consequences. I came because I wanted to give you some dirt. Okay, your story checks out. Well, that and because I want some answers. Come closer. My eyes aren't what they used to be. Answers to what? <gasps> it can't be. What? What's wrong? It's impossible. Are you... Are you a human? Human? Of course I'm a human. At, at least I think I am. I can't even remember. This changes everything. Why? What are you saying? No one has seen or heard from a human for centuries. We all thought they were extinct. <gasps> extinct? Yes. Hundreds of years ago, a great war was waged on the world, and a battle between good and evil decided its fate. The humans were caught in the crossfire, and by the end of the war, they had been eradicated from the earth. That was the last time the world had ever seen a human, and the last time the nations were in unity. Oh my, this is so much to take in. I don't understand. I do not know how you got here or why, but I do know someone who might. He's super smart. Seriously? You're gonna send me off to another noob who doesn't know what he's talking about? Really? This is no noob. In fact, not much is known about it. He is very mysterious. He lives on top of the mountain and only comes down once a month for food and supplies and doesn't say a word to anyone. But he is the wisest person I know and has been around longer than anyone here. If there is anyone who can give you the answers you're looking for, it is him. This was so much to take in. Not only did I find out that I'm a human, but that humans were once a thriving people who had been eradicated from the earth? Now I have to climb a mountain in hopes to find the answers to all of these questions swirling in my head. I just want this to be over. Hey, you have any more dirt for me? No. Oh, well, it was worth a shot. Open the gate! Hey there, ah, stranger. What are you doing here? I came to check on my best friend. I'm not your best friend. I literally just met you like seven minutes ago. What? So? What are we gonna do now, stranger? The dirt pit? The wooden pool tavern? Oh, I know! We can go see the new- I am climbing up that giant mountain right there. And on top is a mysterious old man who apparently knows more than any noob around here and will give me the answers I need to figure out why the humans, my people, were dusted off the face of the planet. So if you want to come up there with me and risk your life for a complete stranger you just met a couple minutes ago, go right ahead. I'm not stopping you. But I am leaving now, so you should make your decision quickly, Billy boy. Okay, let's do it. Really? I honestly thought that would get him to leave me alone. <laughs> Weird. Noobs are much more resilient than I thought. One problem though, I am afraid of heights, so is that gonna be an issue? We are climbing up a tall mountain, so yeah, it'll be high up there. Okay. We started climbing up the mountain, which to my surprise, Billy was doing a really good job keeping up with me, even though he was afraid of heights. Oh gosh. Well, hopefully there was water down there to break his fall. Oh, that's gotta hurt. I continued up the mountain, making very sketchy jumps that I should have definitely fallen from. But somehow, I just made it to the top unscathed. And there, I found a tree house? Yeah, I'm not making this up. Look at this. It's a tree house. I crept up cautiously to the door and knocked on it. There wasn't an answer. The old man that I was looking for must not have been home or something. So I opened the door and walked inside. It was small, but really cozy. Something about it just felt like home. I don't know why. I don't even know where home is for me, but it was far better than the dirt huts I had seen from the noobs. Anything is better than that. My eye caught a glimpse of a ladder going up to the second floor, so I climbed it up to the top where I saw him. The old man was just sitting there, unmoving. <clears throat> Hello? Uh, Mr. Old Man? D dude? I, uh... Is he dead? Oh my gosh. He's dead, isn't he? Now what am I supposed to do? The, the guy's 
Dead. Oh, I don't know. Dead, you idiot. I'm simply meditating. Something you noobs have never been able to do. Now leave. You're not welcomed here. Go back to Noob City and think about your dirt houses and forget you were ever here. Or I'll throw you off this mountain whoa, myself. Whoa, wait. I'm not a noob. I'm a human. What? Well, at least that's what the noob governor told me. <gasps> what did you say? I'm a human? It can't be. No, you're lying! No, what? You're what an you assassin here to slay me, aren't you? No human has been seen for centuries. Do you really think I'm a dumb, senile old man and that you could lie to me so easily as to kill me when I turn my back? No, I'm not here to kill you. I just want answers. Too bad, because one of us is being thrown off this mountain, and that person is not me. Tell your boss you failed when you meet him in the afterlife. <gasps>